Good morning. Right. I'm going to get this done. <laughs> so, um, I stitched all the background. I don't, I don't, can't remember where I left off. Uh, let me just get a little bit closer for you. So, uh, just simply did a running stitch, borrow stitch, if you want to call it that, and um, sort of did some swirly designs to make it, you know, look like the water movement. Anyway, it's just me. <laughs> so I've pulled out some threads. I'm going to um, kind of, I can't remember what it's called, just overstitch this basically. And um, I've pulled out these colours. I'm going to do the gold there. And then I've got a variegated green just to get it to pin down basically because it's still got the tacking stitches in it. So um, anyway, there we are. <laughs> I've got here. Are you going to be big enough? You might be actually. You fell out. You look like you want to work with me. That's fine. Oh, and we've got to colour this little fella as well. Uh, right, let's start with the yellow one, I think. So it's a really gloomy day here today. It was glorious yesterday. We went, um, if you saw my video when we went for the walk through the woods, we went back to those woods. It's my youngest daughter's birthday on Wednesday. And she basically wanted a family walk and picnic. And then we went, um, yeah, so we did that. We had a lovely walk round. Uh, a couple of the dogs were absolutely shattered. And then um, we went up on Dartmoor to Widdicombe in the Moor. Uh, if you know this area, it's a tiny little village in the literally the middle. Is it the middle of Dartmoor? Anyway, it's a, quite an isolated little village. Um... And they do a, a really nice cream tea up there. So we went and had a cream tea. Now, if you're not in the UK, you might not know what a cream tea is. But basically, uh, something called clotted cream, which is like a super thick, super really fattening, <laughs> but delicious cream, uh, which is more or less solid. You know, you can just sort of spread it on anything. Um, yeah, on a scone, scone, however you pronounce it. Uh, and a cup of tea which was just delightful and the weather was beautiful it was it was just warm yeah it wasn't uh, I'm just trying to think it was sunny but not too sunny you know the 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 intense heat wasn't there so um yeah very nice day I think my daughter enjoyed her her day because she's got a load of stuff actually planned for her birthday which is Wednesday and next weekend, all of her mates have booked a um, kind of like a chalet locally. And they're going to go and have a friend's weekend, basically. <gasps> Ow, that was sharp. Um, yeah, so it was to, it was yesterday or nothing. Because <laughs> she's seeing her dad today. So, yeah, so that was that. Really nice, I say, really nice walk. Nice sort of family gathering, if you like. This weird mark on my hand, it's not a scratch. We went to that balloon festival on Saturday, me and my middle daughter. And um, basically it was so foggy and wet and rainy, they didn't put the balloons on. Um, it, well, it just wasn't the weather. So we, we, we went to the showground. It was um, Yeovil, which is a county, in, a, a place in Somerset. Um, it was about an hour and a half drive. It was quite a distance, actually. And, um, yeah, we got there and it was still miserable weather. <laughs> and the trouble with it was uh, we took Scala, obviously, and um, she wanted to go on every single ride because it was kind of like a fun fair type thing as well. And um, within an hour, <laughs> my daughter Annie said, we're going to have to go, Mum. And I was like, oh. She said, I've spent over £40 already. I said, right, OK. Because, <laughs> you know, there was nothing else to do, to be fair. So, um, yeah, it was it was not a very well-planned event. <laughs> so they hadn't thought, what, 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 are, um, what are people going to do if it's inclement weather, which it was, basically. So, I mean, luckily, we didn't have to pay for the tickets. She got the tickets for free. 
because her mate couldn't make it. She'd booked them already. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think we'd have been really gutted. So, so we took ourselves off into the town of Yeovil, which... Um, <laughs> how do you phrase it? Uh, it wasn't terribly impressive, to be honest with you. I thought being in Somerset, because it's quite a an oldie-worldie place, I thought it would be a little bit more, you know, cobbled streets, that kind of thing. But no, it wasn't, basically. Uh, it was quite rough looking and quite run down. <laughs> so we spent about an hour wandering around and we were like, mm, let's go home. So we did. <laughs> so I was back here for about five o'clock. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a washout. But as I say, yesterday was nice. It was nice to see the kids and their partners, husbands, the dogs. My eldest and my middle one have fallen out. They've never gotten on, I'll be honest with you. So that was very awkward because she wouldn't come. Oh, honestly. Kids. <laughs> Kids. Urgh. So we're just letting them get on with it, I'll be honest with you. So, yeah, and today I've had no phone calls, no text messages. So I'm, I'm kind of like, that's fine. I'm going to spend a day in my room filming my videos for my lovely people on YouTube because it's kind of a nice relaxing day in my eyes. Yeah, as I say, it's pretty miserable weather this morning. I slept like a log last night, I must admit. All that fresh air and country air and what have you, so stitch under there I need to get that out oh no what are you well no you're part of the dinner. <laughs> don't pull that one out it's that one right. yeah so there we are that's my bank holiday weekend of course our king got crowned on Saturday I haven't watched any of the highlights so I must admit I don't have a TV so I didn't um it's not my kind of thing. I, I mean, I like all the pomp and ceremony and I like to see, you know, who's who's wearing what and what have you. But, um, you know, we do it quite well in this country, the pomp and ceremony. So, uh, but I don't think he's a terribly popular king, I'll be honest with you. And I think that's due to Diana and what have you. I don't know. I don't really get into the gossip side of it. I just let people get on with their lives and that's that really. So if you're not happy, get the hell out. It's just difficult when you're a royal, isn't it? So, so that's that, really. That's my weekend so far. This is going to take a while, so what I might do is pause you, do a load, and come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. And then I'm going to call this piece done. I've got no idea what I'm going to do on the next page, so I need to dig through that little tub of stuff that I got together. And, um... Plan my next page, which will back this one. Not in any rush with this project, as I've told you before, it's it'll be what it is, and because uh, I make little bits and pieces on the side, and then I think, oh, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> I'll give you a for instance. I made this one the other day. They're flying hearts, little um, English paper pieced pieces. Um, yeah, so I haven't um, haven't got anything to put that on, but. You know, you stick that, you stitch that onto a page, and that'll be quite pretty. But I might have another project in mind for that. So I take it from there. It's quite nice to do this stitch. I know. Um, oh, that reminds me. I've got to do. Sorry, <laughs> just remembered. The um, next clues out on the Journal of Stitchery, isn't it? The Garden Path one with Roxy. <clears throat> Got to do a tree. So it's a good job I didn't do one because I was planning to do a tree anyway. So 
does pay not to steam ahead with some of these projects sometimes. I'm just going to do these. I'm not going to fill, normally you would fill in back that way as well, but I'm just going to do, you know, like radiant, radiating bits coming out of here because there's already little pistol stitches in there, but I'm kind of going around those. So, right, I shall pause you. I'll finish this one. I'll start the next one and then maybe I'll come back and show you the finished article once it's all finished and then you can get an idea of what it all looks like. I won't. Well, I will be long, but for you, it'll be a second. See you in a bit. Right, sorry, I've powered through. <laughs> Thought I'll just film in. Oh, don't. So, um, yeah, so I filled in this one. And this one I did an elongated um, blanket stitch, which has worked really well to outline the petals. Really like that. This one I just decided to do giant pistol stitches. I was going to do this all the way around. I thought, no, the whole idea is you're experimenting with stitches, Susan. So, yeah, I just did giant pistol stitches there. Um, yeah, so I've just, uh, just done some chain stitch here to hold this bit down. I'm going to do these leaves and I'm thinking fly stitch because I think I can then elongate it and it will sort of hold the petals down and then I'll do a bit more chain stitch down here and then I might call it done because yeah I might I don't know <laughs> I'll let you know I have found in my book um, if you watch the Roxy thing you'll know what I'm on about but um. I tried to do irises on that Roxy one and I didn't quite know how to do it, I'll be honest with you. And in this little book of mine is a blooming iris stitch. Look at that. So I might well try and do that on the Roxy thing. Anyway, um, fly stitch. I can never remember how to start it. So I've got my, oh, this, by the way, in case you're wondering, is Judith Baker Montano's embroidery and crazy quilt stitch tool it's i got it on amazon it wasn't cheap um but it's very handy to say the least uh because the nice thing is it does stand up i've shown this before but just in case you're new here um it will stand on your desk like that and then obviously you just flip the pages it's very well designed and very clever and whoever that lady is really you know thought about stitches when she uh, designed it so, now that I've reminded myself how to do a fly stitch, <laughs> one of the most simplest stitches. <laughs> right, so I think what I'll do is, um, uh, I, I don't know what this stitch is here that they've done. It's kind of a fly stitch actually, looking at it. So I want it quite big. I want it to hold down both sides. So this is like a bit of a a flat fly stitch, basically. Yeah, that book has got some faults. It doesn't show you how to sort of go on to the next one, but I'm just kind of I'm going to do this. I think this is right. Good fun playing with stitches. I really like that. I really like that elongated buttonhole. That worked so well. I thought I was merrily going away and I thought, oh, I stopped the camera, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the way this page is turning out, actually. It's been a good experimental page. I love that fish. Very pleased with him. And even the um, water lilies turned out nice as well. So it's all good. And this is exactly what this little booklet thing of mine is all about. It's playing with ideas. Using up some odd scrappy things that I had hanging around my room forever. And um, yeah, just 
stitching with no goal in mind apart from to please myself basically <laughs> i make because i do so much make stuff that i make is to sell it's really nice just to do something for yourself or you know something that doesn't have an end goal if you like so yeah it's quite um quite liberating so i think i might take that stitching out it's kind of throwing it off a bit isn't it no oh, i don't know i might just leave it there i, think I might just be very naughty and drag my thread down here another one in there because it seems a little bit bare try and get one in here because this is where it joins basically I I must have cut it for some other project I like it. These ones I might, if I do that stitch again, I think I'm going to take that stitching out. out yeah it will okay although it's pretty to me it's distracting from what I the work that I did so it's all about me okay evidently again I might just do chain stitch around there because I need to chain stitch there anyway so are you saying it's short yeah, I think you are let's try and angle it so that it goes roughly where I need it to come on go through
night. Okay, yep, I think I like that. I think that's enough. Um, I could go over here. Where did I end up the top, didn't I? Scooch down the bottom here. Might have enough here to do a bit of chain stitch. I'll probably have to put more on, but. Hmm. Should I do chain stitch or should I do something else? Let's have a quick look at the old stitch gallery, which is here somewhere. <sighs> Get there in a second, hang on. Oh, I could do a whipped running stitch. Now I've done that loads of times. What else is there? I did like that coral stitch actually. But again, I've done that already, so. It's got something to outline it. It's probably going to end up being chain stitch because. Done stem stitch. I've done scroll stitch. Okay, let's just do chain stitch. Nice and easy. Let's not make it any more complicated than it has to be, eh? Running out of thread. Don't worry too much about a super tight knot because this, you know, it's it's just going to be looked at. It's not going to be picked up, played with. If I was stitching it onto a bag or something, I'd be a lot more pedantic. But um. That gold thread as much as I love this thread and it is really lovely it splits like mad and it drives me cuckoo I hate it when threads do that I mean I think the the art is is just to use small pieces so it was my fault I guess because I put a long piece on but even so <laughs> I can still say that I got the ump with it because it was splitting but I'll remember that when I'm doing petals because that just outlined those beautifully. And that was just a just simply long legged cross um blanket stitch. So that's really cool. And quite close together as you can see probably. So I'm trying not to lift my hand up so it doesn't blur the camera. It might look like I'm doing this very oddly. That'll be today's word, oddly, is that a word? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I have to think for a minute, I think it is. Doesn't matter. And of course we end up with a great big knotty mess. Just pull gently and out it comes. My thread's too long, it's my fault. Pull too tight there, so we just give that a wiggle. Wiggle it. Just 
I have to get these tacking stitches out. They're quite distracting. Let's take them out now. Right. I know a lot of people leave their tacking stitches in, but mine weren't terribly neat, so I wasn't going to do that. Come on, in. One more, maybe. Squeeze one in there. See if we can join that up to there. Quite a lot of fabric going through here so because this is quite a dense fabric i don't know what they stitch on but it is very dense i think it's portuguese and i don't know because i picked up a um tablecloth at the car boot and it had flowers like this on it very similar anyway but a lot lighter a lot lighter fabric and um that was made in portugal so i don't know i've never been to portugal I should have to remedy that at some point. I don't know. I'm not much of a traveller. I'm terrible, really. Right. Okay. Take these tacking stitches out now. You need to do something down there because that's all loose. Um, looking pretty. It's slightly going off the page. That must have shifted because it wasn't at one point. Um, 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 what should we do? I'm tempted to do that chain stitch. I love that stitch. I'm a little bit addicted to it. That cable, that chain stitch cable. That's one I've not done. Double knot, page 75. Let's have a look. If it's a pain, we won't be doing it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's give that a whirl. Try and leave it so you can see it as well. could go wrong <laughs> just for me now because <laughs> you know what i'm like it'd be like <sighs> right. okay so start here go down take a little bite by the looks of it Here we go already. Susan's confused already. Yeah, sometimes it's not very... So go down, take a little bite, then what? How does that get round there? Turn it the way they've got it, shall we? Might make a bit more sense that way. Okay, so taking a little bite. What does that mean? Wrap it behind. Right, uh, work the stitch on the side. Right, come up at A, go down at B, then up at C. Yeah, okay. Slide the needle under the stitch and loop the thread around the stitch, bringing the needle tip over the threads. Okay, that's about as clear as mud, isn't it? Right, so over there. Bringing the needle tip up. And pull the thread to form the knot and continue with the next stitch. Um, that's not right. I think it's meant to go that way. Yeah. Yeah. 
I told you this could be a disaster. Madeline under the stitch. What stitch? We haven't done a stitch. Do we stitch first? If you're out there and you know this stitch, you're probably going, no. Right, slide the needle under the stitch. Right, okay. And loop the thread around the stitch. Bring in the needle tip over the threads. I don't understand. <sighs> Am I a dummy? <sighs> oh, do you know what? <laughs> I'll do that off camera because I'm making myself like a right num day. Um, okay, that's um <laughs> I'll practice that one for you. Honestly. I do worry about myself sometimes. I am such a twit because when I do it, I'm like, that was so simple. That was so simple and you couldn't do it on camera. Correct. I'm just going to do running. <laughs> I'm just going to do, uh, yeah, I'm going to do running stitch actually. And then I'm going to whip it. Because I can. And this video will be about 10 hours long if I sit there faffing around with that stitch. We'll do it on the next one. I'll master it. It's probably dead easy. I'm just being... Just being me. <laughs> <clears throat> For those of you that do lots of embroidery, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> this is like the... I don't know, the schoolgirl's version of it, I suppose. Should we whip that with? Could do the gold. No, that'll clash there. That'll clash there. Could do the yellow. That would look nice. If I double it up, it'll look doubly nice. <clears throat> now I shall colour my little dragonfly. I was thinking of iridescent. Um, Got some uh, pearlescent, rather, uh, watercolours. So I was thinking of just painting it with that and then really simply stitching it down. He didn't you? Because he'll look, I really want to put him on because I think he'll look really nice. Might put him down here or something. It's a bit big for the water lilies, but anyway, let's get whipping first. Ready? This looks like ribbon, doesn't it? That'll do nicely. I think my fly stitches on that leaf could have been a bit neater, but never mind. They're on there now. I 
nice sharp pair of scissors <laughs> not okay let me see how long I've been going because um oh crack it's nearly an hour right let me paint this off camera and then I'll stitch him on and then it'll be done and it'll be a super long video I'll be back in a minute right he's painted up he's all pearlescent um, I've got these super, super cheap watercolours in those colours, all pearlescent. They were amazing. £2 each or something ridiculous. <laughs> Crazy cheap. So um, I've just been sort of contemplating. Quite like him there. I might just couch the body down. I don't think it needs, you know, too much. I can get right under that bit there. That will hold his head still. I'll put on that... Um, I don't know what it is. That thread. I'll have to find out. It does. It definitely feels like a linen. But I don't know. It might not be. I just want to get right in that gap there if I can. And again, right under there. We're nearly done, guys. Nearly done. I thought what I'd try and do is work my way down his tail. I just want to get really close. Come on. Okay, and put his segments in. I love dragonflies. I used to have loads visit my old pond. Huge as well. works well. I might be really naughty. Drag my thread up here. See if I can get in between those wings. I've got a very thin needle on so I'm hoping. Yeah, that'd be fine. That's well and truly on there. Cool. Calling that a done deal. Sorry it's taken so long. 
I'm so glad I found that lost video. I didn't realise I'd uploaded it to YouTube, so that's all good. I apologise for basically repeating the first bit, but I really must sharpen those scissors. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, I was chuffed because I know um, some people might want to see how I did the fish. So that's the only reason I went ahead and released that one. Because sometimes you might want to see the whole story. Right. I'm calling it done. We get you on up close. So yeah, that's worked really well to sort of give his body segments. So that's cool. And yeah, the stitches have worked well. I like the wrapped running stitch. I will do that double knot. <laughs> I can't do it on camera. Once I've got it in my head, I'm fine. <laughs> but anyway, there we are. So that's it. Another page done. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um on the back of it but then it'll be it'll have the eyelets in i'll put a piece of um pelmet violin in between and um, then i'll have the next page of my book so that will follow on from that one and be quite a contrast so yeah let's get them on both on screen that helps so there we are i enjoyed it i really enjoyed that i loved the way he turned out i was really chuffed with that the lily pads they're okay i think i need to get some thicker ribbon and I don't think this was silk, this one I used. It felt quite nylon-y, so... But it's fine. And uh, the old dragonfly coloured up well, bless him. <sighs> I'll stop rambling in your ear. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.